All right, thank you, Jessica. U.S. Congressman from Alabama, Mo Brooks, has agreed to testify in front of the January 6th special committee if he is subpoenaed, but only if a list of specific terms is met. The select committee attempted to serve Brooks back in May. They were unable to deliver the subpoena to him. News 19's Kayla Smith has more. According to a statement released on Thursday, Brooks says he is willing to testify about the events of January 6 if the special committee will meet certain conditions. First, Brooks says he will only discuss events directly related to January 6. He wants to see all documents he may be asked about in advance. He says he wants his testimony to be public and he says he will only answer questions asked by congressmen who are a part of the select committee. Today is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking ass. On January 6, 2021, Congressman Mo Brooks spoke at the rally hosted by then-President Donald Trump in D.C., just streets over from the Capitol building. Brooks and Trump maintained a relationship through 2021 and into early 2022. Trump initially endorsed Brooks' run for U.S. Senate, but revoked his support in March. While on the campaign trail, Brooks admitted he and Trump had exchanged phone calls where Trump asked Brooks to continue to support an overturn of the 2020 election results. President Trump ha has asked me to rescind the 2020 elections, immediately remove Joe Biden from the White House, immediately put President Trump back in the White House and hold a new special election for the presidency. The select committee investigating the January 6th insurrection issued a subpoena calling for Brooks to testify. According to the subpoena, the committee had previously asked for Brooks, quote, voluntary cooperation. Brooks declined, and in a statement made Thursday, he said, quote, quite frankly, I don't believe I have knowledge of January 6th events that are not already known or that add to what the committee already knows, end quote. Brooks says he has already made several sworn statements relating to his involvement in events on January 6, including statements he made in the Eric Swalwell lawsuit. Reporting in Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19. Now, the original subpoena expired, but the committee has recently reissued it. Select Committee Chairman Benny Thompson has said he expects the subpoena to be delivered to Brooks soon. During today's hearing, we learned that Representative Brooks had email correspondence with the White House recommending the president give all purpose pardons to, quote, every congressman and senator who voted to reject the Electoral College vote submissions of Arizona and Pennsylvania, end quote. According to the committee, that email was sent on January 11th. Brooks has previously fervently denied ever requesting a pardon in connection to the events of January 6th or the certification of the 2020 general election.